Hello, my friends. So we're back from vacation and we're back inside. And we decided to start by coming on in and giving our primary suite a little bit of a glow up. So we're gonna start in the bathroom, get everything all zinned out and stuff like that. And then next week we're gonna go in the bedroom, but I've got so much to share with you and so many really pieces to share. I can't wait. Let's hop into today's episode. Hello, my friend. How are you? Oh, I'm so excited to be back in front of the camera. Oh, so it's been a couple of weeks since the last time we talked. And that is because your girl turned 40. So we had to go off and turn up for a little bit. <laughs> and then when we came back, I had to recover for a little bit. <laughs> but I'm all recovered now. And as you can see, uh, we are back inside. Ooh, ooh. You know, anytime you go on vacation, especially when you go to like those island resorts and stuff, the rooms be all nice and fancy, the bathrooms be all fancy and stuff. And then you start thinking about <laughs> what you did not do at home. And on the plane home, I was like, you know what? I still don't know what dining table I'm gonna go with, so I'm not going back outside. Um, Tim had a lot of work to catch up with because we've been gone, so I hadn't been able to get him out of his office. I was like, let's get us a quick win in. Let's go glam up the bedroom, give the bathroom a glow up real quick. We've got some amazing views of the work that we've been doing outside. So, you know, we need a space to come and kind of chillax once we've enjoyed our time outside, especially now at the end of the night, mommy and daddy want to wind down. You know, we need to create that ambiance and we have it. So this week and next week, I'm going to try to finish it up next week. Today we're finishing up the the primary bathroom for the most part. There's like small stuff that we're waiting on Amazon for, but the major stuff is done. And then next week we're gonna move into the bedroom, kind of give it a quick glow up, get back into the rhythm of being inside. And then hopefully by that time, I will have Tim transitioned out of his office so we can start doing the heavy lifting because his office and the media room are the only two heavy projects we're doing for right now. Everything else is just gonna kind of be decorating and kind of glowing it up. I say that and then I'm already in my brain like, okay, this bathroom was fun. I need to go upstairs to the girls' bathroom. Child, who knows, but for right now, this week and next week, we in the primary suite, with the exception of the closet, giving it a quick glow up. So, if you're new to the channel, you never met me before, my name is Kay. I am a wife, I'm a mom, I've got four amazing humans, ranging in age from 19 down to four. <laughs> I did that. Uh, and we designed this channel around building our new construction home and now that we're in we're slowly but surely turning it into the house that's custom for me and my family so if you want to learn more about us you can connect with us all over the internet and if you are into homeowners kind of transitioning their semi-custom homes it's like really custom and unique for their family then I invite you to stick around uh, I don't have a particular style I just do what feels good and I'm not afraid of color although even though I decorate with color sometimes it still lends itself to a neutral palette but it works I like it and I enjoy sharing it with you so if you're into that type of thing feel free to subscribe Give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know you're here down in the comments. Tell me what you think about what's going on. Connect with me everywhere else. And then if you're really feeling frisky, share with a friend. <laughs> uh, but that's enough rambling. I think it's time to get into today's video. We are, I'm gonna give you a quick flashback of what it looked like when we first moved in and I came in and did some decorating stuff. And then we're gonna come in, you know, area by area put it all together and then at the end of the video I'll come back and share future plans for this space because this is just decorating I've got my brain has not 
finalized like the overhaul we want to do in here so for now we're just making it a vibe until we can get there let's hop into today's video all right now so if you've been with me for any length of time you know that this is um our last year's like kind of summer bathroom update and it was good i liked it it wasn't bad it was chill it served its purpose but you know as you live in a space you figure out more of what you need and I wanted a little bit more so on our way back from vacation I was like I have got to do something about this space like we have been working really hard on our landscape outside and making sure that you know outside was ready for entertainment and enjoyment. But at the end of the day, when we come home, our bedroom and our bathroom are the places where we chill the most and they need a little work because I have not touched the bathroom since this update and I have not touched the bedroom since we did the fireplace in the bedroom. So needless to say, we are well overdue for a little bit of an update and we have quite a bit to cover so let's go ahead and hop in all right so first things first these doors need some doggone hardware i bought hardware um last year but it was black and i wasn't completely sold on it so i never got around to putting it on and i found these really pretty bad brass excuse me finger pools and at first I wasn't going to do mixed metals in the bathroom because the faucets and stuff are um, that satin nickel but I was like you know what uh, we mix metals all the time and I'm not about to change the faucets right now but I definitely didn't want the black hardware that I had purchased for the cabinets to go on so I was like you know what let's just do what we want to do and we'll deal with the repercussions later if there are any um, originally I was going to place this finger pull on the inside of the door but doing that would have meant I would have had to mess with the hinges and these doors are nice and tight you can't like see through them so I figured you know what let's just put the hardware at the top and I'll show you what that looks like later so we're going to start over by the shower area because this was the easiest area to tackle and I wanted so badly to put new towels in here. I don't know why, I just wanted something new, but after playing around, I still like my towels, so I left them. <laughs> this gold medallion was here before, but I did not have her hung on the wall correctly. She was literally, don't judge me, hanging on with one of those little push pins, and she was due to fall off at any time. So I was like, you know what, we're gonna do this right. I'm gonna be a big girl, and I am going to anchor her to the wall properly with the proper picture hanger, and I'm glad I did, because because now uh, I'm not so nervous when I walk by her and bump into her because I don't think she's gonna fly off the wall. So everything that I put here, what I can link to down in the description, I will. There's a lot of pieces. Like there's a lot going to be going on in this bathroom. I made it nice and cozy and tight, warmed it up quite a bit. And that I did shop a little bit for. So what I can link to, I will link to down in the description. And if there's no link for it, I either got it from somewhere like Home Goods or I've had it for a little while and I don't remember where I got it from um, or it wasn't linkable. So just check the description as we're putting everything together. Um, and if you see something you like, if I'm able to link to it, it's down in the description. So uh, these apothecary. Kasseri, <laughs> I'm not gonna butcher that. These jars I got from Michaels and I got them, the tall one especially, because I like a lot of soaps from like Lush and I do a lot of like bath bombs and stuff like that. And I plan to probably, I might have to even separate these out. My Lush bars, because I do buy them in abundance, um, aesthetically wise, I'm gonna have to figure something out for them because they come in that paper wrapping and it's not cute, but it's not good to leave them unwrapped because they'll melt together. So I may have to buy another one of these jars, but I'm not sure, um, but I absolutely love these. So I'm just transferring like all of my bath goodies to these new glass jars because I like them better. The plastic, for whatever reason, just doesn't do it for me. But um, these look really good. They're going to go on that shelf that you just saw me put up under that gold medallion. They look really, really good. And I am going to figure out how I am going to... Um, 
secure like those soaps that I get from Lush so that they can be aesthetically pleasing as well. But for now, I'm just excited that I have them and we're going to roll with this until I get that figured out. So I'm going to quit yip yapping and let you listen to the tunes for a little bit. And then I'll come back when there's an important update that I think you should know. Okay, that didn't last long, I'm back. But these jars, I gotta tell you, I can't link to these. These came from Ikea, and I don't think I can link to Ikea, and they are for pouring like drinks. But they were so pretty, and I have been dying to find something that was really aesthetically pleasing that I could put like my Dr. Till's bubble bath in, because I generally have like a couple of these on deck at all times, <laughs> two different fragrances for two different purposes. And I'm so glad I found these. So I can't wait to finish filling these up with the rest of it, but I just wanted to show you this um, before we actually got the rest of it set up. So yeah, now I'll come back when there's something else important to say.
All right, so now that we're about to style this middle piece of the vanity area, let me tell you, I went back and forth with this for a little bit. There's a piece, I forgot to shoot it. I may show it on a community tab. Originally, like I'm obsessed with orchids right now. And originally I was gonna make this huge orchid centerpiece and then put some stuff around it. And then I saw these boxes. <laughs> at home goods and the plan changed um but this orchid is real guys like and she's beautiful the nursery that's right outside of our community specializes in like african violets and orchids and she wasn't the cheapest but she's full of bloom still and they gave me like a whole care sheet on how to take care of it i know a lot of people don't like real orchids because you know once they stop blooming it's just the leaves but i am obsessed and i think it is so pretty like i know y'all have seen these stems before these came from my kitchen and while i am not a fan of putting artificial any Anything anywhere uh, I just think the the matchup just really creates this really peaceful vibe um so now you're watching me and my daughter um try to get this shelf <laughs> uh try to get this shelf installed in the toilet room so the space is not that big so the footage is not the greatest but we had to get it leveled before I could screw it in and I needed her help I'm so glad my big baby is home because the kids were gone to track practice so I was gonna have to wait on Tim and I really wanted to get this done so she was able to come help me um level it out and make sure it was in the right spot and then once we got it leveled i was able to pre-drill the holes and get it connected to the wall so yeah that's why you're looking at the back of our heads um it's because we're working in a little bitty space and there is nowhere else for me to place the camera in order for us to get this footage but i thought it'd be fun to watch all right so chillax to the music i'll be back when there's something else to talk about So there is something else to talk about. Uh, once the shelf was up, I needed to get this artwork up. And y'all, this thing is heavy and she's off center and I don't even care. You probably wouldn't have noticed it if I didn't say anything, but I tried putting a ladder in here. I tried putting a step stool in here. Nothing worked. So when all else fails, you stand on the toilet. <laughs> But I got it done. I got it done. It looks amazing in there. Um, and I didn't get hurt in the process. She just a little bit, you know, to the left. But I wasn't taking her down because I was sweating by the time uh, I got finished playing around with this. And I just, you know, at this point, I'm like, it is what it is. We're going to make it do what it do.
All right, y'all. So y'all ready to see how it all came together? Look at that. So I knew in the water closet I wanted to put a box in there. If you're a female, you know, you understand why. Um, but I just think it all just works so well together. Like I'm not even tripping on my countertops anymore. I'm not tripping on the stuff that's not done. Like when I walk in here, I feel cozy. I feel like I'm going to a spa day. I feel like I can sit and relax for a little bit. Like it's really a vibe in here. Don't pay no attention to that scale down there. We ain't talking to her. <laughs> she ain't got nothing nice to say. <laughs> Anyways, um, there's a few more things that I want to do, but the major stuff is done. But I really like the way it came together. It is such a vibe in the bathroom. Like, we did it. All right, so I'm going to let you check out the views, and then we'll hop back on camera and talk about, you know, what else we want to do uh, just from a decor standpoint and what to expect next week. So that's a wrap for today. Uh, she looking good, what do you think? I really enjoy where we are right now. I am going to now go fill up like all the soap dispensers, wipe the leaves down to all the plants. Um, just, you know, put the finishing touches on it. There are a few things that are still open as far as decor is concerned. Um, you know, future overhauls I still haven't finalized, but there are some things that I'm thinking about doing right now. I just haven't decided on whether or not I'm gonna finalize that. So over the tub, as you could see, there's a light. And I did that because initially my plan was to put the chandelier in. And now that we're in the space, I'm adding plants and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm gonna add a chandelier here because I'm thinking about adding another hanging plant over there. You know, I'll try to go plant shopping before we get in the bedroom because the bedroom needs a couple too. But if I don't make it, um, you know, I'll update you guys with where we are. I've thought of a couple of options for, for in here from a candelabra, from a crystal chandelier, from a, um, I can't even think of the name of it. I'll insert some pictures just as examples. Uh, and I hadn't landed on one yet, or even if I'm going to do it, we still need to update like the um, faucets and stuff like that. And I was holding off on that until I decided what I wanted to do with the countertops, whether or not I was gonna try to salvage the mirrors. Like I was kind of holding off on that until I had like a finite answer on what the final design was gonna be because I didn't want to buy faucets twice. So I may wait on the chandelier for that as well. In the shower, I didn't take you over by the shower because I didn't want you to see our business in the shower. Like all of our soap, I put it on the floor because <laughs> that's how we live it right now. Um, usually I, it's either stored like on this ledger right here or in the little corner shelf, which is not nearly enough. And now that I've kind of given it a glow up in here, I don't want to see those bottles. So I've ordered some soap dispensers shampoo dispensers and stuff like that that I can hide um, in the shower, make it aesthetic, make it functional, but still not be able to see it when I walk in. And then just adding a couple of towel hooks so that Tim and I can, you know, hang our towels to dry, but they still be aesthetically pleasing. I was also thinking about changing the doorknobs to be like a black and gold aesthetic, but I might wait on that too, just to do like the final glow up. But for right now, I'm pleased. I'm happy, it's functional. I'm gonna order another bathtub tray um, and I'm good. I think, you know, if nothing else happens, I can live with this. I was gonna put a shutter in, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until we do like the full thing and then we'll go from there. But for now, I'm pleased. 
pleased. I think, you know, each one of these areas has its own zone as far as lighting is concerned. So at the end of the night, you know, if I'm taking a shower, that area is lit, or if I'm in a tub, I can just light that area. If I'm using a sink, I can light that area. Each and every area in here, including the toilet roll, provides a special little touch of zen that will allow us to relax. So I'm happy with where we are. I'm excited I got to do this. Uh, I don't know the plans for the bedroom. I'm gonna work on that over the weekend and kind of put that together and start getting stuff and buying it and bringing it in. And then, yeah, we're gonna enjoy this space. We're gonna chill in this space, make good use of this space and hopefully not next week but the week after that we'll be in Tim's office giving him like a bro office that he deserves so thanks for sticking around if you're still here be sure to let me know your thoughts and I will see you next week